Was flicking monkey bladders. Welcome back to Monkey Boys Toys. We're back here at the sofa. Um, before we get into the video, um, I just want to give a couple of shout outs. Firstly, uh, I want to give a, a big nod to Gerard O'Connor for suggesting Jack Hammer for last week's video. So thanks very much for that, Gerard. And uh, this week the suggestion came from Luke at Reynolds Reviews. So a big shout out to him. He has suggested today's item, which is the thunderiest of hawks, the hawkiest of thunders. It's 1985's Kenner Mask Thunderhawk vehicle. Yeah, there it is. So this is uh, based on a 1985 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 car. Um, and it transforms into a jet fighter. Um, before we have a look at the vehicle, we'll have a look at the driver, who is the one, the only, code name Hunter. It's Matt Tracker. If my hand can hold steady long enough, we can have a look at him. There he is. Sorry, I've got very shaky hands. But there we are. There's his face. Oh, look at my ass. So there's Matt Tracker in his flight suit. And we've got his mask here. It's the long mask version, unfortunately, but we've got his mask here, which is uh, Spectrum. And the Spectrum mask controls light. Um, and it also controls any source of energy. Um, obviously, it doesn't really control energy. You just have to use your imagination but there he is there's Matt Tracker um, I won't put him in the vehicle now because my hands are too shaky and I won't be able to do up his seatbelt but we'll have a look at the uh, vehicle this is the Thunderhawk um, quite a nice example some of the stickers are coming off a little bit but it's not too bad um, it's a little loose the laser cannons at the bottom there as well but anyway there is the there is the vehicle. Um, the, the back bumper on mine, uh, for some reason, doesn't sit down properly. It's supposed to cover that mask logo at the back, um, but mine doesn't. I think the spring has gone a, a little um, over the years. Um, but anyway, so here's the vehicle. We've got, again, some nice rubber tyres um, with the Goodyear uh, embossed on the, on the side there. Um, the tyres for the Thunderhawk were a lot softer. As you can see, they're sort of bending out and warping out here. Um, they were a lot softer on the Thunderhawk than they were on many of the other vehicles. Um, so perhaps they changed the design after they did the Thunderhawk. But um, but still, some nice nice rubber tyres. Mine are in good condition. They haven't cracked or anything over the years. So quite happy with that. Um, here we have a look underneath the vehicle. So there's the there's the Thunderhawk. Uh, transformation on this one is quite simple. All you do is simply push down on this button on the top. Boing! And the gull wing doors flip up. Um, you then pull these laser cannons out of the side. They pull down and uh, my doors are a little bit floppy. Um, this can be repaired if you if you undo the screws at the bottom um, the four screws in the corners. You can pop the pop the top of the chassis off, um, and there are um, springs underneath, sort of tension springs underneath this part, which you can stretch out again um, and put a bit more tension in them, um, and then it holds the doors further up. Um, these Thunderhawks quite often suffered with very floppy doors. Mine aren't too bad, but if yours are having that problem, it, it can be fixed. There are videos on YouTube of of how to fix it um, so fear not if your doors are floppy they can be made erect once again um, but yeah so that's that's basically the transformation the back spoiler here pops up um, to reveal the um, jet thrusters and the mask logo at the back um, the weaponry on this car is as I've just pointed out the um, laser laser cannons on the side of the gullwing doors there um, and the other weapon 
uh, system that it has is sort of bombs or missiles underneath the vehicle uh, and you simply press the the rear um, jet thrusters to drop those bombs out so if we do that you can see the bombs drop out there I'm not going to try and put them back in now because of my shaky shaky hands but here are the here are the two bombs that drop out um, they're quite often missing um, if you buy this on the secondary market so it's nice to have a an example with both those bombs um, and yeah so there's Matt Tracker and the Thunderhawk um, I won't put him back in like I've said because it's a bit fiddly um, and also there's a seat belt in here which you can see they um the the Kenner mask line was quite fond of putting seat belts in many of their vehicles um, the ones on the Thunderhawk are possibly easier to fit than um, some others because the, the peg that, that fits in, I don't know if you can see that, I'll show you the little peg there, um, the, the peg that fits into the side of the seat is quite uh, rigid so it's it's relatively easy to get the, um, the seat belt back in this guy. Um, some of the other vehicles such as the Manta um, have seat belts that are a, a little harder to put in um, because they're softer rubber and it's 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 a bit fiddly a bit of a fiddly process to get them in um, but anyway let's let's pop this car back into the Camaro street mode and there it is there's the Thunderhawk and Matt Tracker and so hope you've enjoyed the video um, give a like subscribe if you haven't done so already um, and we'll catch you on the next one so for now, I'm going to make like a shepherd and get the flock out of here. See you later. Bye.